<laughs> hey guys, it's your bow. Hey guys, it's your bow, bow the doggo, and uh, welcome back to Amaros, where we are. Your oh, I was been wondering what this is. It's of the share. Where we are about to uh, date Remy again. There we go. We are about to date Remy again. Uh, the second episode we are going to call her now. Um, I still haven't left the, the club, so we'll try to call her from the club this time and see if this works. Because I always go home uh, otherwise to call them. Um, but we are calling them from the club now. So call. Research is really bad at the moment. I should try again when I'm back home. Ah, uh, we got our answer. <laughs> Uh, soon. There we go. I got so many contacts now. Remy! Hello! Call her. Let's see what Remy's up to. Ring! 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 Click! Hello? Hi Remy, it's Bo. I was wondering where you were up to. Hey Bo! Sorry, I didn't recognize the number. I'm not doing much right now. I work later, but for now I'm just relaxing. Damn, I was going to ask if you were free to meet up somewhere. Oh yeah, I worked at dinner shift tonight, though I'm free before then. Oh, well good then. I guess the dinner plans are out of question. So, did you have anything else in mind? Well, you were the one calling, dude. Oh, I have an idea, yeah. There's a new exhibit in the aquarium by the beach promenade. Would you want to go with me this afternoon? Say, 2pm? That works for me. But wait, didn't you say you were afraid of sharks? Yeah, well, I still respect them. So long as we keep on different sides of the glass. They have a cool jellyfish exhibit too. The glow-in-the-dark ones. <laughs> and I'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you will keep me safe from the scary nature, right? I can be the butch one, sure. So long as we get the ice cream to balance it out. Haha, <laughs> big kid. Okay, deal. I'll see you there then. Definitely. See you there, Remy. Click. I better get changed and head out if I go to catch her. Is Kobe going to interfere? No? No Kobe, okay. He usually interferes. <laughs> so, who did you meet this time, huh? The chubby bunny on the second floor, hmm? It didn't take me long to pick out an outfit and drive to the aquarium. Remy had already mentioned being afraid of sharks, which was extra ammunition for making the shy bunny squirm that cute ways you had done at the pool. You monster. Remy was waiting inside, looking around sheepishly from the spot in by the exhibit. She was wearing the same cute sweater and picking at one of her sleeves. Remy, hi! I didn't keep you waiting too long, did I? Oh, hey, no, I only got here a minute ago! I looked around at the stood at the entrance. It seemed like there were a handful of major exhibits, including jellyfish and sharks. I wondered how to best handle Remy's shark phobia. So, there seem to be a few cool exhibits here. How did you want to deal with the shark exhibit? We can avoid it if you prefer. <laughs> That's okay, I'd like to see them. My phobia is kind of worse when I think about being in the water. I think they're nice to look at. So long as you hold my hand? Sounds like a good trade to me. I smiled and held out my hand for her to take as we headed off along the path through the exhibits. You know the shark exhibit isn't for a while, right? Well, I want to hold hands. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I squeezed her fingers softly as we wove them in with mine as we walked. We strolled along together for some time, shaking out the bright tropical fish dancing through the reefs and alien crabs roaming like desert scavengers across their undersea worlds. The time would have seemed to fly as we chatted a little about the work in the kitchen and traded the names of a few musicians alike between comments on the exhibit. It was a genuinely nice time and Remy's thoughtful admiration of the fish was contagious as we explored the tanks. After a while we finished with the fragile seahorses dancing like leaves in the currents of the tanks and found ourselves at the mouth of the underwater walkway of the shark tank. Well, here goes nothing, right? I smiled reassuringly and squeezed her fingers as we continued to walk through the mouth of the glass tube overhead. It's okay. We'll check them out and everything will be fine. They're just like the other fish around here, right? They're not anywhere near as deadly as those poisonous fish we saw. Yeah, I guess you're right. She didn't seem that convinced as she leaned in closer, hugging my arm. It was a sweet gesture and made me forget for a moment that Remy was supposed to be the older of the two of us. As we made our way into the center of the tank, Large fish could swim right over our heads, surrounding us on all sides. Most they were regular fish, moving in large shoals, but between them, gliding silently through the water with the small flicks of their tails, were the sharks. See? They're not much different from other fish. I guess you're right. 
You're squeaky, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt me. Not at all. Most of them aren't even big enough to attack a full-grown person. Either way, I keep you safe like I said. She smiled at that as we stopped at the side of the railing and watched one of the larger sharks, an 8-foot tiger shark, roam back and forth against the glass, showing off his beautiful camouflage markings. Remy seemed transfixed, not in horror, but in admiration. Pulled her hand, hugged her comfortably, teased her dominantly, called the love submissively. Let's continue with the, the dominant teasing. I stepped behind her, wrapping my arms around her middle so I could whisper into her ears as I watched with her. She stroked at my arm and leaned into me, her hips against my own as I gently traced over her side while we took in the sights. See? Nothing to it. Though you're a lot more likely to get nibbled on out here. <laughs> I gently nipped her ear and she let out a playful whimper as she melted back against me with my hands on her hips. So, so I see. <laughs> I sneak her into her ear as she wiggled her hips a little at the sound. Plush rump pressed back to me as I gave her ear another nipple, just to make her whimper. The dominant teasing really hit her buttons. A tasty rabbit? Very hard to resist. I guess I should wash out then. Totally. I ran my fingers over her middle, feeling her soft fuzzy tummy through the sweater as I huffed against her ear. That's hard to resist? She wiggled her arm back against my crush as I squeezed her hips close as I kissed her neck. She ran her fingers against my snout as my body pressed to hers, a sign that we shouldn't get too carried away. I kissed over her fingers as I relented. Damn, this is getting hot in here, it's just the first date. Very hard <laughs> to resist. And you know it, bad bunny. She giggled a little, lifting my hand from her hips and kissing my thumb. Oh, damn boy. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it, sweetie. When we're not in the middle of an aquarium. I adjusted my outfit as she stepped away, giving me a playful come get me wink as I followed her out to the rest of the exhibit. Oh no! Well, looky here. Was that his voice? I think so. Appearing between two of the tanks, Riptide sauntered over, giving us both a derisive look. If it isn't my favorite milf and her little messenger. Oh, so I see what it is. So Rem is too good for the likes of me, and perfect for you. That hero complex is gonna get you hurt, newbie. Riptide, she also laughed at me and called me naive for standing up at Remy. Let's face it, that makes you the worst person to be indigent here. That's right, you think you can get away with telling me Bo isn't worth my time after making fun of my weight and calling me a whore? Now, now, I called you a slut at worst. Probably just said you were a nympho. I think you should back off, Riptide. I'm here with Bo. Did they have like an affair or something before? Or like, was he one of the the, the, the guys she dated or like had a, a, a first bad date with? So maybe, maybe they did sleep together after all. Let's find out. <laughs> That's fine by me. Then you can watch how a man lands surprise. None of this baby stuff. You're a fool, Riptide. I suggest you back off. You heard what Remy said. She's here with me. Let's go, Remy. I think I'm done with the pond of life here. Hit him. Hmm. Should we hit him? Maybe we should hit him just because he's an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's hit him. Let's give him the the punch in the snout. I reared up, ready to smack the smug look of his face. Remy's hand on my arm stopped me, and I huffed frustratedly as Rip had stepped up on the offensive. Remy put her hand on my shoulder and stepped up on my side. Her hand in mine and a resolute expression on her face. You made your point, Riptide. If you think I want to be with you after your threatening bow and call me names, you're crazier than I thought. Just leave us alone, jerk. Yeah. Go away, jerk. Urgh, fine. You win the big prize, hotshot. Rude. Fuck this. Good luck, assholes. Such a rude man. Riptide stormed off, leaving us there in the middle of the aquarium. I'm sorry, Remy. It feels like all that mess was my fault. No, it's my fault for flirting with him and you, I guess. You know I wouldn't be here if I wasn't interested, right? So just going somewhere quieter, see the rest of the exhibits. I need some space to think. Leave. No, don't leave. Let's go somewhere quieter, I think. Let's get out of here, huh? We'll, we'll go take a cup of coffee or something. Okay, that, that sounds like a good idea. Leaving the scene of the fight seemed to perk Remy up a little as we walked down the street to a coffee shop along the promenade. 
Is it the same uh, coffee shop that we all will go to with everyone? The one where you get your name on the, uh, the cup? Neither of us were feeling the need to be more caffeinated after the confrontation with Riptide, but we got hot chocolate despite the sunny day and a slice of cheesecake and sat soaking in the atmospheres a little in the comfy chairs. This was a good choice. Thank you, Bo. Uh, don't mention it, girl. Yep. And did you get... <gasps> they didn't write a Remy on hers. Zero of ten. <sighs> it's the least I could do. <laughs> Remy, listen, I'm sorry about Riptide. His foul mouth and all the trouble with him in general. I took her hand in mine and caught her eyes. I stood up to him back at Amaros and told him to leave you alone if he was going to treat you like a quick lay. The way he acted, I... I wouldn't want him to hurt you. I appreciate that, Bo. But it was still my decision to make. I don't like that you took it away from me. I'm sorry. But it wasn't fair of me to drag you into my stupid stuff with Riptide. I guess I let guys like that get under my skin. You're still interested in me, I hope. I know stuff in the club got kind of crazy and intense. And I guess that's how the club scene can be. Of course I am. Yes, of course. I don't know. I squeezed her fingers and gave her an embarrassed smile. Of course I am. For what it's worth, I'm glad I picked you over him. At least, I think so. You will be. You, you will be. <laughs> Trust me, you will be. What, what is it? Remy played with her fingers and shifted her in the seat a little. She looked more embarrassed than sad. I guess Rip also isn't exactly wrong that I've been dating at Amaros for a while. He's uh, exaggerating my reputation, but I'm not exactly... You know, not exactly the kiss on the cheek after the first date kind of person. I guess I'd like to know where I stand, you know? I might be shy around new people, but with a partner? That's different. The weight makes it better, though. I can't understand if you want to know if you're compatible. Yeah, I guess we go with that. I mean, we know, we know this is gonna work because that's the, 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 the game. <laughs> so... Let her take the time she needs. So what? We're both adults. I think there'd be a problem if you weren't interested in knowing that things work with a partner. But anyways, I did say I'd take charge. After my nibbling at the short tanks, I would have said if it was a problem. I guess I just want to be sure. Riptide kind of spins my head something fierce. How we all works best. Change things up. Uh, what? I don't know, let's uh, change things. Oh, wait, is it like, uh, um, like I am the dominant and she is the submissive? Yeah, let's, let's change that up. Let's be submissive together, if that's what it means. Uh, honestly? If you want to follow, I lead, dominant. Just handing up to Rip was even better, sub. Yeah, yeah, let's be a little submissive with her. <laughs> honestly, you seem more in your element when you were taking charge. And obviously, we should both enjoy ourselves. But I wouldn't mind you leading me along. Hmm, I appreciate that, Bo. Thank you for the answer. I guess I'm just used to people being pretty candid. That's okay, Remy. I'm glad we could talk about it before it became a problem. I smiled as she laughed a little. And we got through all of that without making a cuckoo or racial bunny joke. Oh yeah, because doing the bunny jokes and wolf jokes and fox jokes is a, ra it's a racial thing here. Right. I maybe thought it, but it's also not a bad thing. I look forward to it when we're both ready for it. Though, looking at the time, don't you have to go to work soon? We got a little while yet. We finished our drinks and got ice cream out on the beachfront, watching the sunset and sharing playful smiles with my finger stroking and rolled over her own in a passionate play between us. We calmly ate our ice cream, trying our best to ignore our free hands. I was thirsty for her. Her candid question about our roles to each other was fresh in my mind, leaving me aching. If it wasn't in the middle of the afternoon, and if we weren't in the middle of a busy beach, I might have dragged her down into the sand with me. Because I'm the sand monster. <laughs> our parting was concluded with a brief, passionate kiss that I wish I could have dragged on for hours. Oh, that... Oh, okay. I thought it just ended there. <laughs> Bling! A, a text? Who would be texting me now? Had a great time today. Sorry to rush off. Work. Sad face. Had a great time with you too, X. 
Wow, look at him <laughs> do right thing. We should do it again soon. Very soon. X3. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry to leave you hungry for more stupid work. Cryface. <laughs> That's okay. I'll be patient. So long as it's just us. Just us. Cuddle land shark. X. Okay, that was lame. Crossface. What noise do sharks even make? XD. Blub. Glub. <laughs> Not exactly intimidating. One roars in the movies. X. <laughs> uh, break over. I'll be thinking of you. X. Aww. Ditto. I'll call. Lesson three. Lesson three. <laughs> Boys, this is so sweet. Goofball. <laughs> you called? <laughs> Another goofball. And where are your clothes this time? They're in the wash, mom. But spill it. I was just texting a girl I met at Amrose. Remy, a, a bunny girl. Not exactly my area of expertise, but is she nice? Very nice. And she's a chef too. Very nice. Does that mean I won't be cooking for you anymore? Your clothing optional pizza parties are only so nutritional. <laughs> well, that depends if the pizza guy comes in too. That happened one time. Ahem, <laughs> whilst you were here. Ahem, <laughs> what? I said I'm going to take a shower. Wanna join me? Tell me all about your date. Not this time, Cobes. Not this time. Bling! Fine, I'll leave you to your straight person exploits. I'm sorry, Kobe. Another time. <laughs> oh. Lesson, th lesson 3x, lesson 3x, lesson 3. She's adorable. Oh, yay! We got the second achievement with uh, her, with Remy. Should we get right on the second one? What do you think? Should we do it? Should we go right to the next episode right away? I think so. Uh, I'm going to record the second, the, the third, the next date right now. Um, because who needs dinner or lunch or anything? Who needs to eat? We're playing Amorous now and we're going to get through this. Fuck. I hope you join me for the next episode, guys. If you want to see it, uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video and ring the bell. And if you want to see the video two days earlier, check out my Patreon. There, I think. Uh, check out my Patreon and you will see the videos uh, two days earlier. And that's great. And you, you, you sponsor me to get a new computer. Yeah, so I can make videos more efficient and more faster. Um, yeah, but I guess that's it. And yeah, also thank you to my patrons here. Oh Jesus Christ. As I said, these guys get to see the videos two days earlier than everyone else. I will try to make some behind the scenes stuff and the Patreon exclusive stuff as well. Uh, right now you only get your name in the end here, you get to see the videos earlier. And if you chose the gold tier, you get the cute icon uh, like the guys here. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So, again, a bow, a, a bow, a bow paw. So take care, and I'll see you, I'll see you, in the next video. Seven were very nice. Eight very nice. Seven very nice. This is a six very nice.